what designs require BGP in the data center? I love this question um, because I could argue none, but then there are actually a lot of reasons why you might want to use BGP in the data center. So I'll uh, uh, let you guys tackle this. Um, it, Ryan, I, I know you've said you've moved a lot into the uh, the automation world, but do you maybe have a take on this? Yeah, I mean, specifically if, if you're um, needing to move L2 services across your infrastructure in the data center, then you know you're you're going to be looking into um, EVPN type topologies, which which obviously you're going to be using BGP there, um, which is probably the most popular one right now. Um, that's going to be the biggest take, especially if you don't want to have a layer two fabric across your infrastructure, um, which you're you're pretty much not wanting to do a layer two fabric anymore. Layer threes got your equal cost multipathing, pathing, you got your stability. Um, all of the benefits across the board going that way. And then <clears throat> uniformativity across all of your top of racks, that obviously helps with a ton of automation and moving into stamping out your infrastructure quicker. That's my initial take anyways. Seconded. Yeah, I mean, and then probably if you're running some kind of edge service towards a service provider or something, that's pretty much gonna be BGP, so. Do any of you have a take on the RFC? I've forgotten the RFC number, but the one that uh, came out of Microsoft that defines oh, what the one? Yeah. looks like. Is that um, a model that should be followed or is that a little too specific and you really need to be of a certain size or looking for specific capabilities where you should follow that particular BGP in the data center model? Yeah, I don't, don't think you need to specifically follow that one if you have like 10 switches but you know it, it probably works fine but i mean if you if you only have 10 switches you could probably just run ospf or iss or or whatever but unless you need to do policy segmentation or traffic engineering or those kind of things